morning everyone <coughs> now uh, we have performed the first practical okay x molar kmno4 versus 0.05 molar ferrous ammonium sulfate okay we have performed the last uh, last lecture now in redox titration you all know about redox titration reduction and oxidation combined process is redox titration clear uh, reduction means gain of electron and oxidation means uh, loss of electron okay now today we will perform here second practical practical number 2 x molar x molar kmno4 versus 0.1 molar oxalic acid okay so this is your second redox titration now <coughs> in second redox titration you have to fill up your urine with again x molar kmno4 solution okay listen carefully you have to fill up your urine with x molar kmno4 solution okay then you have to take 10 ml 0.1 molar oxalic acid into your conical flask through pipette clear okay after that you have to add again dilute sulfuric acid 25 to 30 ml or 1 and 1/2 test tube into your conical flask again okay first 10 ml Uh, 0.1 molar oxalic acid you have to add then again you have to add dilute sulfuric acid into your conical flask through test tube clear yeah. so this is your procedure then in second practical you have to heat your solution up to 60 to 70 degrees centigrade okay so your second practical is for heating practical okay you have to heat your solution in second practical up to 60 to 70 degrees temperature okay when vapor will you can see vapor okay then you have to stop your heating then you have to do your titration so this is your procedure for x molar kmno4 against 0.1 molar oxalic acid solution okay now we will start here for second practical now friends look here this is your burette this is your kmno4 x molar kmno4 solution here is your oxalic acid solution 0.1 molar oxalic acid solution so first of all we fill up our burette with kmno4 solution colored solution and you all know in color solution you have to take upper minus a system you all know okay so first i fill up my solution kmno4 okay then everyone set your jet so okay then again fill up your solution and set zero minus plus here now zero meniscus with upper meniscus set your zero with upper meniscus okay here is your zero clear now add oxalic acid solution into your conical flask this is 10 ml pipette
set your scale here. Here you have to take lower medicinals because oxalic acid is a colorless solution. Okay, take into your conical flask. Now you have to take sulfuric acid one and half test tube. One test tube into your conical flask again one and half test tube sulfuric acid dilute sulfuric acid into your conical flask okay so here is your procedure now you have to heat your conical flask your solution up to 60 to 70 degrees temperature so here is your conical flask now here is your gas burner okay here is your tripod stand put it here like this way asbestos mesh and here is your conical flask okay with your solution now heat your solution up to 60 to 70 degree centigrade okay here is your solution now listen when vapor will come from next side vapor will come from next side you have to take your solution or your conical flask with the help of hanky handkerchief okay so here is your heating procedure Now listen, you can see here white vapor, okay. So we have completed uh, up to 60 to 70 degrees temperature. Now use your hanky here like this way, okay, and do your titration here. So I am doing now titration. Again color less to light pink color. And everyone do your titration drop wise. Okay. Do your titration drop wise. Okay. Now here is your end point. Here is your permanent pink color. You can see here permanent pink color. So my titration is over. My reading is 8.78. Okay. And your titration is over now. Here is your permanent light pink color. Colorless to light pink. Okay. So now this way <coughs> we will complete our practical okay now listen here is your practical theory so first of all a to determine the concentration of a given KMnO4 solution by titrating it against 0.1 molar oxalic acid solution here is your first a then burette so in burette x molar KMnO4 solution plus 10 ml oxalic acid solution plus 25 to 30 ml dilute sulfuric acid clear heating up to 60 to 70 degrees temperature okay indicator again kmno4 self indicator clear in redox titration kmno4 is a self indicator now color change Color change is colorless to light pink. Clear? Here is your reaction. Now ionic reaction 2 MnO4 plus 5 C2O4 minus 2 plus 16 H plus. 
it gives 2Mn plus 2 plus 10 CO2 plus 8 H2O. Clear? And after procedure, here is your again observation table. In second practical, your burette reading is 8 to 9 in between. Uh, you can write 8.678, whatever you will get. Okay? But here our reading is 8.7. So, here again observation table, clear burette reading, first, second and third and here is again concurrent reading, clear final reading, initial reading and difference. Now, here is your final reading, 8.7, initial reading 0, 0 and difference is 8.7. In second titration, 8.6008.6. In third titration, you will get 8.7008.7. Okay. Now this way, you have to write your observation table. Clear? Calculation. In calculation, A1, M1, V1 is equal to A2, M2, V2. Clear? It is a main formula. A1, M1, V1 is equal to A2, M2, V2. In bracket, A1, M1, V1, oxalic acid here and here is KMNO4. Okay? So, in oxalic acid, A1 value is 2. Clear? Molarity of oxalic acid is 0.1. Here, 0.1 molar oxalic acid. Okay? And you have to take 10 ml oxalic acid into your conical flask. That's why volume of oxalic acid is 10. Clear? Same way here A2. So A2 value is 5 for KMNO4, 5 electrons. Okay? M2. M2 means molarity of KMNO4. That's why X molar. We have to find out X molar. Okay? And V2 means volume of KMNO4, your burette reading. So your burette reading is 8.7. For example, burette reading 8.7. Clear? Now x molar. x is equal to 2 multiplied 0.1 multiplied 10 divided by 5 divided by your burette reading. So here is uh, you will get your molarity. Okay? And last gram per liter of KMNO4. You have to find out gram per liter also. So, formula is M multiply molecular mass. So, molarity is here. You will get molarity. So, put figure here of molarity. Multiply molecular mass of KMNO4 is 158. And here is your gram per liter. Okay? So, our second practical, we have completed now our second practical, KMNO4 versus 0.1 molar oxalic acid. Thank you.